Testing the Voice of the Shepherds, November 4 I am the Good Shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. John 10, 14 Every one of us will be sorely tempted. Our faith will be tried to the uttermost. We need to be anchored in Christ, rooted and grounded in the faith. Satan works through agents. He selects those who have not been drinking of the living waters, whose souls are athirst for something new and strange, and who are ever ready to drink at any fountain that may present itself. Voices will be heard saying, Lo, here is Christ, or lo, there. But we must believe them not. We have unmistakable evidence of the voice of the true shepherd, and he is calling upon us to follow him. He says, I have kept my Father's commandments. He leads his sheep in the path of humble obedience to the law of God. The voice of a stranger is the voice of one who neither respects nor obeys God's holy, just, and good law. Many make great pretensions to holiness and boast of the wonders they perform in healing the sick when they do not regard this great standard of righteousness. But through whose power are these cures wrought? Are the eyes of either party open to their transgressions of the law? And do they take their stand as humble, obedient children, ready to obey all of God's requirements? John testifies of the professed children of God. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. 1 John 2.4 if those through whom cures are performed are disposed on account of these manifestations to excuse their neglect of the law of God and continue in disobedience, though they have power to any and every extent, it does not follow that they have the great power of God. On the contrary, it is the miracle-working power of the great deceiver. We must beware of the pretended holiness that permits transgression of the law of God. Those cannot be sanctified who trample that law under their feet and judge themselves by a standard of their own devising.